All right, you guys, what is up? It's me, it's Jacob. We're here on, well, actually, no, I don't have my watch on, but it is the 26th of February. I've been here in Rockhampton for almost two weeks. This video title is not clickbait. It's true. I did exactly that. I applied for an internship with the Jacksonville Jags last night. The story goes, okay, I never, I woke up yesterday morning not knowing by any means that I was going to do that. I had no idea. But what happened throughout the day was a series of events that led me to that. And the first one was I went finally after being here for two weeks to my first job interview. And it wasn't long, um, but it was at a place called Budget Car Rentals. Okay. Now I went into that interview actually stoked. I was absolutely stoked. I thought, look, I'm going to be living here in Rockhampton. I do need a job. This job is pretty much perfect. I'm going to be, you know, doing a mixture of driving cars and doing a bit of computer work. And I went in there and, you know, that being pretty much my ideal job uh, here in Rockhampton, I walked out of there actually feeling fucking depressed. I felt desperate. I felt really, really desperate. I felt like I'd, I just, <laughs> I felt like I'd just set myself up for a job that was going to be extremely unfulfilling. I know deep in my heart that any job that I take, any job I take, I've probably had about 10 full-time jobs in my life, okay? The one that I've had for the, for the longest period of time was in Alice Springs for six years. It doesn't matter what I'm doing, I always want to excel. I want to be proactive. I want to prove to whoever's, you know, my manager or boss that I am a, a good person, I'm a good worker, and I want to be the best. I want to be the best at whatever I do. And I knew that if I took that job, if I even got the job, I don't know if I have or not, um, but if I took that job, I would do that exact thing. But I would be in an environment that I'm getting nothing back for it. I'm 30 years of age, I've still got energy, I've still got passion. And I know where my real passion lies. It lies in sport. It lies in anything to do with sport. I don't even know which part of a professional sports environment I would love the most, but I just, I just know that with the passion I have, with the energy I have, and with the work ethic I have, I can be a real asset to any organization out there, any company out there, anything. You know, I, I built I built my YouTube channel from, from nothing. I, I built I built a business. I built an online e-commerce business, Major Keepers X, from nothing. When I when I put my mind to something, ain't nothing gonna stop me from succeeding. Ain't nothing. So, you know, the the day started out perfect. I, I got a job interview, I went to it, but Leaving that job interview, I felt just, you know what I felt like? I felt like I would rather work for free somewhere that I actually enjoy, somewhere that I can actually learn something, um, than earn, you know, a thousand dollars a week working 40, 50 hours at this place that is just completely and utterly underwhelming. Now, it's nothing against them. It's nothing against the place. But I just know deep in my heart that I'm destined for more. And if I was to take that job, learn all I can, and in six months, you know, feel mentally no further forward um, in my life than I am now, that would be a complete and utter waste of six months. Now, I'm here in Rockhampton for, for really for one reason, one reason only, and that is my kids. And that is what I've been doing. I've been hanging out with my kids as much as I can. I guess the next step was getting a rental and the step after that was getting a job. So I'm not going to take that job. Whether I get it or not, I'm not going to take it because I, I walked out of there and, and throughout the day I realized that, yes, I would rather do an internship, and I'm going to say it right now, for an NFL football team working for free, doing whatever I could in the environment, soaking it all, in, soaking it all up and learning. And, and just, just the thought of actually turning up to a workplace every single day feeling passionate about the place, feeling excited, that's something I, I haven't felt for a while. Um, in fact, you know, and, and, I, and I know that I would certainly just never feel that in this place or any place working here in Rockhampton. So, so what I did for the very, very first time ever, 
is I went onto Google and I wrote careers in the NFL. And I found myself on a web page um, that wasn't associated with the uh, NFL. It was a different one. I think it's an employment type page. And I found myself looking at jobs listed under the Jacksonville Jaguars. Now there's 32 teams there, but there's only one team that I would ever consider not only moving, you know, countries for, but taking an internship and, and working for free, I'm led to believe. And that team, as you guys know, and as you should know, um, is the Jacksonville Jags. So what did I do? I put an application in. I filled it out. Now it's not, I, I, I kind of kicked myself because waking up this morning, you know, it actually seems possible. Last night when I put that application in, it was late at night. I was pretty tired already. I was feeling, you know, desperate. And, um, and, and, I, and I, I guess that may have come across in my application. I didn't, I didn't make it as compelling as what I could do. But I've woken up this morning and, and at the very least, I'm, I'm, I'm very happy. I'm, I'm happy with what I did. There was a series of events that led to it. And I've woken up this morning, you know, being realistic thinking, look, I'd be even lucky if, uh, look, I'd be lucky if they, they read my application and I'd be even more lucky if they even, uh, you know, decided to get back to me. But what I have done is I've put my name in the mix. They follow me on Instagram for fuck's sake. The person, <laughs> the person accepting that application and, and reading it and possibly either throwing it on the boss's desk or throwing it out in the bin has seen my name before. I know they have. I know they have. So this is the time. This is the time. Uh, February the 26th, 2021. I went to my first job interview here and it was completely and utterly an underwhelming um, and, and, and uh, depressive experience. And I knew what I had to do. Well, in fact, at that point, I didn't know what I had to do. But 12 hours later, it seems I did. I went online, looked for the jobs, found one, that actually suited like there could have been accounting jobs there could have been law jobs there could have been even social media jobs but unless it was an internship I probably wasn't gonna even try and there was an internship and the internship I'm talking about is titled as some of you may have seen on Instagram events and entertainment intern role now in my opinion that screams project management that that screams you know event management that 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 talks to me as if it's a job surrounding the event of a game of professional football and if i can get involved in that environment through an internship in any way shape or form i will do it i will do it so this video needed to be made. It's uh, it's an exciting morning. I like I said, um, I'd be lucky to hear back. I believe, but I know that there's some people out there watching this video right now that can possibly help me. If you want to send me an Instagram message, please do. Let's chat it out. If you support me in this, please hit that like button. Please hit me with a comment. Get this video out there. It's true. I applied for an internship with the Jacksonville Jaguars and I think that's the first time I've actually said Jaguar in the right uh, way so I guess that's the start and like I said my name's in the mix now they know who I am they know what I'm about they know what I want to do and so do you guys so as always thank you so much for the support thank you so much for watching and uh, let's fucking go peace out